Hey guys, so the festival season is finally here. Very exciting, not being able to shower for three or four days. Sometimes that's by choice, but sometimes it's because they're not working or it's just absolutely freezing cold. I had the pleasure of working at quite a few of the festivals and the one thing I didn't want to worry about was my hair but I did always just wear them in plaits which got a bit boring after a while. So this is called sort of elegant dreadlocks if you want. Um, I've got a nice bow in it but you can put whatever you want. It's quite a good way to sort of wear your hair down but still have it back off your face. So I'm going to show you now how to do it. Um, okay so we're just going to start off making a couple of sections. Just tie this back with see-through elastic band, or if you're going to a festival, perhaps you can use multicoloured bands or something if you want a bit more colour in them. So basically the hairstyle is just a lot of twisting. So it is a little bit time consuming, but the effect looks really cool at the end. So just have one like that and do the same on the other. So with the sections you want to take quite large sections and you want to put, pull them quite high up. Then just make a parting and then you want to make another section starting from the bottom going to the other side of an ear. And then just out of the way at the back of your head. And then just split this one in half as well. So just sort of lay that down the back. Now comes the twisting part. It's not a normal twist, so this would be just twisting round, but if you want to really have it so it holds in place when you let go at the end that it will stay, you need to put one underneath, put the other underneath, and then twist. Take the sections, one underneath, and then twist. And just work your way down like that. So they're both in opposite directions, and that is what is going to hold the twist in place. Once you get the hang of it, it won't take so much time. Now I'm just going to show you in slow motion from the other side exactly how you do it. So once you twist, you always want to put it in your right hand. Twist, twist, put it in your right hand. Take from the other side and start again. Is the difference. This is the proper one and this is just a normal twist. Show you again. twist and then try if you want to do it at the same time just make it a little bit quicker unclip that back section that you had and keep that one just out of the way for now and then you want to do another section going across. And then clip them out of the way. And then do the same thing. Now you've got more hair on this top section, so you could probably do three twists here all the way down. And with this top part, just have a feel. If it's not too thick, you might get away with just needing to do two twists. Okay, so that's one side done. And I also 
just did the top part as well. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So just remember those sections, one going to the other side of your ear, and then just work your way up with the other sections. I've got quite a few different sort of funny stories working at festivals. You know some of them they have t-shirts and they say I love you or I love festivals or whatever. Well, I was working at Download and there was this man who wasn't just covered in mud. I think he'd gone for a really long swim and on his t-shirt it said free hugs. Needless to say he didn't really get many at all. And the other one was I was having my lunch break and I was so engrossed in what I was eating, it took a while for me to realise that I was standing next to this bin. It was kind of overflowing. And this guy came up, obviously really, really wasted, opened the bin lid and threw up in it. And I promptly decided that my lunch break was officially over. But it also made me smile because I thought, this is still quite... A a cool and interesting job to have. It's not every day you can have your lunch and have someone throw up right next to you. My favourite festival to work at was definitely Glastonbury. It actually sort of shows you what it would be like to actually live in a festival all the time. That whole week you can just forget about everything and and just find all these crazy things to do. Uh, two places I recommend going to eat. One of them is Paella Ria, which is just the most amazing, amazing food. And the other one is called the Green Brownie. I think we had worked for 12 hours not only were we ridiculously hungry, but I think I did, I wanted something quite sugary. And the chocolate brownie wasn't just a normal brownie. You can have different toppings. So I had a massive thick chocolate brownie with cookie dough smothered on top. So those are definitely two places that I recommend you have got to go to. And another thing to remember, is to always close your tent. And I know everyone says, yeah, yeah, I do that, I do that. But even if you leave it just a little gap, that's enough for something to crawl in. And there was one, there was one night, I got back, it was probably about 12 o'clock at night. And I could, I could, I hadn't turned any light on, I could see a patch on the top of the tent and I thought, I'm so tired. Do I go to sleep and just leave it alone? Or do I get the torch out, see what it is and freak myself out? So of course I got the torch, had a look and it was this massive spider. It managed to crawl down to the, to the corner of my tent and I managed to sort of squish it with my book. Left the book there and just went to sleep. I thought, great, I've got it. And it wasn't until the morning when I was getting changed and I looked down and I could see these legs crawling over me and it was this bloody spider that I obviously didn't get with the book but I'm pleased that I thought I'd got it because I had a great night's sleep but it's because I did leave a little gap open on my tent. Another thing that I found really handy was getting a cosmetic bag that you can actually hang around your neck this is especially good at three o'clock in the morning when you really want the toilet, you've held on for as long as you possibly can, you know it's raining outside, but you've decided you finally need to go. In your cosmetic bag, you just make sure that you have your torch, you have some toilet roll, sometimes I have some hand, hand, hand sanitizer as well. And it's just easier if you have it in front of you. Because of course, when you get into that lovely wonderful toilet you're going to have to be squatting and usually you're going to have your hands 
bit more preoccupied. So it's really great if you've got everything you need in front of you. Because um, I remember there was one time, yeah, where I forgot the toilet roll. And of course there wasn't any there at all. So what you also can do with this hairstyle is actually put different colour thread in. As you can see, I've got multicoloured stuff, which is quite cool for going to the festivals. And all I've done is I've just put a hairband at the top there. And I've actually done different colours on this one. I've got a red and a yellow. I've tied a knot at the top there. I'm going to put it through the back part. So I'm going to put my fingers through here and then bring it through. And then the knot is just going to rest at the top of it, just there. And then you simply just want to start doing the same twist again. Because you're twisting so much, the thread, as you can see, is going to show quite a lot, which is exactly what you want. So you don't need to worry about trying to pull it out for it to show or anything. As you can see, it's going through now. And of course you can do this with all different types of thread and colours. This thread I actually got from a place um, called Tiger. It's got loads of different stuff in there and it's really cheap as well so it's quite good. Right, so I'm going to use this blue one now. This one's a bit longer so I'm going to go to one that's further up. what it could look like. So I've pretty much put all sorts of different colours in. I think there are some that are a little bit shiny as well that looks great in the sunlight. Um, and orange and pink and all sorts of colours. And then you can put flowers in your hair or you know different colour bows and this hairstyle is actually good before you go to the festival because it will last about two or three days. So when you wake up in the morning, the only thing that's going to be messed up is this part. So what you can do is you can carefully take out the elastic band and just put a new one in. Um, and that should stay in place. But take a few hairpins with you if you want to really clip it up a little bit better. But as I say, that should last for at least two or three days. And then once you take it out, it almost stays being a little bit wavy trying to think of what else you need to remember to take with you. Always remember hand sanitizer and wet wipes. You will always, always need wet wipes when you're at festivals. So once you've taken all of your hair out, this is what it should look like. So when you're packing, just make sure that you put in some nice coloured ribbon or I've just got a scarf here at the moment. Um, so all you need to do is actually just put it on like a hairband, placing it on the top, but I actually want to leave a few bits at the front. So I'm going to tie it underneath. What I've done is I've pinned just at the ear both ways just to hold it in place. And then I've just done a nice bow at the back. What I'm doing is twirling the hair underneath the ribbon. So I've got a few pieces here and I'm just going to take my fingers through the ribbon and then bring the hair round like so. And then I'm going to leave that bit down. I'm going to take another section and do the same thing. Put my fingers underneath and then pull the hair through. And then basically just do that on the other side as well. This is a really, really simple hairstyle. You can actually curl your hair around a lot more if you want to. I've actually done a double knot at the back bow and you can put a few more pins on the sides if you really want to secure it in place. I'll show you another hairstyle you can do with it as well. Okay, so you just want to take section from the left side Start to twist it and you're basically just going to make 
kind of a messy bun that's fairly loose. And then you want to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to twist it. I'm actually going to put it underneath this bun and twist it all the way around. So once you've got your bun at the back, we're going to have a ribbon going through our hair and we're going to have a massive bow at the top here. So just make sure this side is a little bit longer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin it at the back of my ear. I'm going to pin a little further up. That's where we want the bow to go. And then with this, I'm going to pin underneath as well. I'm going to pin that just at the ear. Now we're ready to do our bow. All you need to do is just pin the bow in place and there you have it. Another quick, simple. Also what's really good about this hairstyle is if it's really, really baking hot and you don't have a hat or anything with you, what you can have is a thick scarf, as you can see. Nothing worse than getting sunburn on your head, which I did a few times. And trying to sleep when it's all red and raw is not good. And of course, you can't exactly put cream on it. Anyway, enjoy the festivals, guys, and I hope your hair looks awesome.